Good morning Davao, good morning Mindanao, good morning North, South, East, and West. This is Gilbert Lopez Martije Cazzo. For the headlines, weather forecast, Easterlist affecting Mindanao. Local news, Barangay Captain of 76-A question delayed foods distribution for fire victims. Baste to personally brings athletes to Cebu for Palaro. Lambat Bitag Sasakyan confiscates over 7,000 vehicles since September 2022. 38 abandoned children under DSWD Dabao Care. National News Marcos vows to sign Negros Island Region Act Energy Station of CNP Subgrids to Stabilize Cebu Power Supplies International News Climate Change Uncharted Territories Fears after records hot march. Tesla to settle over fatal autopilot crash. Entertainment news. Twin Peaks agent Cooper. How TV's strangest detective was born. Derek Monasterio trends in its showtime guesting. Sports news. She was our hero. Koji Chuzu Raba. Rabara. She was our hero. Koji Chuzu Rabara loads Remis Palmas. Leadership in Petro, gas PBL scape over cream line. Cristiano Ronaldo sent off for Al Nasser in Saudi Super Cup defeat to Al Hilal. Featured in European Sleeper, a new night train connecting some of the continent's great cities. Experience the magic of Boni Viva Luci. For the trivia, do you know that Dabo City holds the record for the largest Zumba class in the world? Weather forecast. Mindanao will have partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated rain showers or thunderstorms due to esterlies. Light to moderate winds from east to northeast with slight to moderate seas. Local news. Barangay Captain of Barangay 76A question delayed food distributions for fire victims. The head of the Barangay 76A raises concern over food assistance for presidents or residents affected by the two fire incident that occurred on Sunday, April 7, 2024. Robert Ulan Ulan, Barangay Captain of 76-A, said in a media interview on Monday morning, April 8, 2024, at Bukana Gym in Davao City that the City Social Welfare and Development Office, C, 
SWDO did not immediately distribute the foods of food facts to the 478 individuals affected by the fire. Nga naman, nga na ay mga goods nga niabot sa barangay. Nga naman inyong gitaguan. Nga naman nga inyong gihatag. Awa nilyo gihatag. Nga naaman unta ko'y gipang-assign na community cooker diri para maka-accommodate usa nato ang kaning problema. Why is there food that arrived in the barangay? Why did not, why did you hide it? Why did they not get distributed it or distribute it? I have already assigned a community cook there to help resolve this particular problem, he said. Ulan Ulan shared that personnel of DS or CSWD told him that the barangay should shoulder the food for the affected resident through it, its calamity fund. However, Ulan Ulan explained that it was not easy to request the fund, saying that the incident occurred on a Sunday. He added that they only can work on it on Monday as the succeeding days would be a holiday. Basti to personally brings athletes to Cebu for Palaro. Dabo City Mayor Basti Duterte said he will personally accompany the athletes who qualified for the upcoming Palarong Pambansa 2024 to Cebu City. Ubanan tamo dito, tamo dito sa Cebu. Practice lang mo, focus lang mo. Kay man mo na musakripisyo. I will accompany you there. I will deliver you there to Cebu. Just go on practicing, focusing. I know, you know how to sacrifice. He said during the closing ceremony of the 2024 Dabo Region Athletic Association or DABRAA meet on Sunday, April 7, 2024 at the Dabo City University of the Philippines UP or UP Mindanao Sports Complex at UP Means Mintahal Campus. Duterte added that the athletes should not be afraid to lose since this is the essence of sports and that by losing. They will know how to deal with the reality of life. He reminded those who won to remain humble because they will not always remain in the spotlight. Lambat Bitag Sasakyan confiscated over 7,000 vehicles since September 2022. The Dabo City Police Office, DCPO, announced that it has already confiscated a total of 7,054 vehicles from September 16, 2022 to February 25, 2024. Continuously strengthening the police campaign known as Oplan Lambat Bitag Sasakyan. The operation is in collaboration with the DCPO, Task Force Davao, Davao City Transport and Traffic Management Office, CTTMO, Land Transportation Office, LTO, and the Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board, LTFRB. DCPO spokesperson Captain Hazel Tuazon said, the operation targets illegal vehicle that lacks owner certificates, registration, and other documents. In an interview with DXDC RMN on April 8, Tuazon reported, that the campaign yield 961 issued temporary operators permit TOP, 6,033 issued citation tickets, and 28 of impounded vehicles. Since 2021, the CTTMO reported a total of 3,023 motorcycle, tricycles, e trikes and payung-payung or modified tricycles apprehended. In 2021, a total of 179 of these types of vehicles were apprehended, 223 in 2022, 2,172 in 2023, and 
449 from January to March 2024. 38 abandoned children under DSWD Dabao Care, an official from the Department of Social Welfare and Development, Dabao Region, DSWD Dabao, revealed that currently there are 38 abandoned children aged, aged 0 to 6 years old who are under their care at the reception and study or study center for children. RSCC in Dabao City. Claudine Tuyor, DSWD Dabao Social Welfare Officer, said in a radio interview on Dabao City Disasters Radio, DCDR, on April 7, 2024, that RSCC is the temporary residential care facility managed by the DSWD for abandoned victims of abuse and neglected children. In data obtained from the RSCC of the number, seven cases were found links, while the majority of the dependent or neglected as their parents need to find works elsewhere, thus the kids are temporarily placed in the facility. Tuyo revealed that several children in their facility are undergoing legal adoption process, while others, the DSWD is still locating the children's families through media, newspaper, publications, and the coordination of the local government units, LGU of Dabao City. <music> National News Marcos vows to sign Negros Island Region Act. President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. said he will sign into law the Negros Island Region NIR Act, which will allow the unification of Negros Occidental, Negros Oriental, and Siquijor into, the, into one administrative region. In an interview with reporters in Bacolod City, Marcos said the, purpose or the proposed measures in, is seen to bring government services in the region closer to the people. Yeah, I think I will sign it, Marcos said. I think it, NIR makes sense because it's very difficult for Oriental to be and be service in a regional service or center. So kailangan talagang maayos yan. Matagal ng problema yan until we can consolidate. I can put it all together properly. And right now, hindi pa ganon, he added. The NIR Act will split regional offices between Negros Occidental and Negros Oriental, allowing the creation of new growth areas, which is expected to contribute to the region ease of doing business by empowering residents and instilling investors' confidence in its capacity to facilitate efficient government transactions. Energization of CNP subgrids to stabilize Cebu power supply. President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. led on Monday, April 8, 2024, the ceremonial energization of the Cebu Negros Panay CNP subgrids, which is seen to address the power supply problems in the island region. In his speech, during the ceremonial energization of the Cebu Negros Panay 230 KVA or KV backbone project in Bacolod City, Negros Occidental, Marco said the facility is expected to respond to the surging energy demands in the area and propel the socio-economic advancement in Western and Central Visayas considering it's about 16 million population. He noted that the two regions' contribution to the Philippine economy in 2022 was 2.24 trillion.
national news. Climate change, uncharted territory, fears after record hot March. Climate change could move into uncharted territory. If temperatures don't fall by the end of the year, a leading scientist has told the BBC. The warning came as data showed last month was the world's warmest March on record, extending the run of monthly temperature record to 10 in a row. It's fueled concern among some that the world could be tipping into a new pace of even faster climate change. A weather system called El Nino is behind some of the recent heat. Temperatures should temporarily be or temporarily came down after El Nino peters out in coming March, but some scientists are worried they might hot or they might not. Tesla to settle over fatal autopilot crash. Electric car giant Tesla has agreed to settle a lawsuit over the crash over a crash in 2018, which killed Apple engineer Walter Huang after his Model X operating on autopilot collided with a highway barrier. The case brought by Mr. Huang family was scheduled to begin in the California Superior Court this week. If the trial had gone ahead, it would have brought increased scrutiny of the firm's autopilot and false self-driving technology. The term of the settlement were not disclosed and reports have said the deal still need to be approved by a judge. Tesla did not immediately respond to a BBC request for comment. Entertainment News Twin Peaks against Copper How TV Strange or Strangest Detective was born in inclusive archive BBC interviews. The creator of the 90s TV series talk about their unique vision and how the eccentric character at its center, especially Agent Dale Copper, was based on a detector or director David Lynch own personality. On 8 April 1990, Twin Peaks viewers were introduced to the brilliant but eccentric FBI agent Dale Copper, played by Kyle McLachlan, who went on to win an Emmy for his performance. With his unfailing courtesy, unconventional but formidable investigative methods, obsessive love of cherry pie and dame fine coffee, and his habit of recording dectaphone message, messages to his unseen secretary, Diane Agent Copper, quickly became one of the decade's most beloved TV detectives. Derek Monasterio trends in its Showtime guesting. Derek Monasterio is the top trending topic on X because of his its Showtime guesting. X formerly tweeted talk about Derek Monasterio's visit to its show, Showtime. This April 9, Viewers focus on the making on McKeeling Actors production number on its showtime. It garnered praise from netizens as was discussed online. Derek Sang, PDA, We Just Don't Care, made a famous by John Legend because of Derek's guesting. He became a top trending topic on X.
Sports News. She was our hero. Kuji Churu Suraba Bara lauds Remy Palma's leadership in Petrogas PVL scape over cream line. Palma displayed unwavering composure and leadership showing the way for the Angels in a cardiac five-set scape act over the cool smashers at the jump pack Santa Rosa Sports Complex in Laguna. For being the heart of heart and soul of Petrogas, head coach Kuji Chusubaraba feels nothing but gratitude for an Angels captain. Thank you so much to Captain Renz for always controlling the emotions of other players. She made sure Petrogas would have good teamwork, the Japanese mentor said of Palma. In this five-set win, she always provided good leadership. She was our hero. Cristiano Ronaldo sent off for Al Nasser in Saudi Super Cup defeats to Al Hilal. The Portugal international then appeared to race his first towards the referee before leaving the field. It is Rolando's or Ronaldo's first red card since his move to Al Nasser in December 2022. Al Nasser will be thrill thrilling 2-0 at the stage after goals from Salem, Aldo Sari and Malcolm with former Liverpool forward Sadio Main pulling one back in stoppage time. Three-time winners Al Hilal will pay all will pay Al Itihad in the final on Thursday. Featured story: The European Slipper, a new night train connecting some of the continent's great cities. Hop aboard in one country, wake up in another, and considering getting off to explore on one of Germany's most stunning landscape. In an era of cheap, low-cost flights, one throwback to the golden age of travel appears to be making a comeback. Night trains, as a real lover and carbon-conscious traveler, Few things inspire me more than going to sleep in one country and waking up with a view of the countryside whistling by, knowing that a different language and cultures await me and the final stop. That's why I was excited to learn that 10 months after launching its inaugural overnight service from Brazil to Berlin, the aptly named European Sleeper has recently expanded or expanded its service from Berlin to Prague, while uh, Brazil's to Berlin service includes stops in Antwerp, Rotterdam, and Amsterdam. The newly extended route now stops in Dresden and Bad Schandau in Germany, and the scene. Osti, Nad, Labim, and Prague in the Czech Republic. Travelers can choose from the three ticket options, seated areas, couches, and slippers. Experience the magic of Boni Viva Luci. Bonifacio Global City illuminates the night with lights, exhibits, and show through Boni Viva Luci, which translates to wondrous life in light. Running until April 15, the ninth day light festi uh, art festival stretch across the sprawl of BGC, featuring installation along Bonifacio High Street, Bonifacio Street, South Tira, 28th Park, 
the Mind Museum, and the BGC Art Center. Curated by the Bonifacio Art Foundation, Incorporated, Bonifacio High Street, and the Bonifacio Global City, the exhibit allows parks goers to immerse themselves in nature's inspired lights installation days before the observance of the earth. For the side stories, Dabawenyo's Cyclist. For the trivia, do you know that Davao City holds the records of the largest Sumba class in the world? In 2017, over 15,000 participants came together to dance their way into the Guinness World Book of Record. That's all our news for today. Please like, share, subscribe, and click the bell button for you to be updated of the news of Pinoy Rab News Channel. This is Gilbert Martihe Lopez Cacho. Good morning. <music>